Okay, so let's talk about the essential relationship between psychological safety, courage, and social risk taking. You'll see uh, me here in uh, the party scientist in a banana suit with a giant flag and a pink hat. This was uh, an event I hosted in 2019. We have a large four wheel chariot and we are leading a parade. Always notice the light up shoes. They do wonders for giving people permission to express themselves. Point is, it requires courage to be visibly expressive, right? So courage is really the first essential step to creating more joy and psychological safety in our audience, right? We have to have the courage to take the social risks and role model the social risks, whether that's climbing on top of a chariot and visibly expressing oneself, or it's asking the difficult question. So there I am here, as you can see, we have our fine high on life sign. It's a great sign. Um, now we've stopped, oh, and there's our wonderful, generous uh, videographer here. We've stopped in the middle of an intersection and you'll notice people have their phones out. People are filming me and what that is doing is that is um, creating a different social dynamic, right? There's, there's a lot of visibility on the person taking the most social risks and it is changing the social norms of the party, right? And that's what we want to do as facilitators. We want to change the social norms in our environment, whether it's a workshop, whether it's our corporate meeting, offsite, we want to change the social norms. And as I said, to change those social norms, we have to have courage and we got a role model social risk taking. Okay. You'll see everyone's now participating. Everyone's getting down onto the dirty street and we're doing a, a mega drop. Oh my gosh, here it is. Explosive energy people jumping up and down with their children and with their light up stuff. People are celebrating in the streets. This is a rare phenomenon, but when we wear ridiculous outfits and we visibly express ourselves, um, people will follow along because we create a temporary world where the social rules are different, okay? As it pertains to creating the most joy in an environment, we as facilitators have to role model that level of joy, that level of positivity and playfulness. One way to do that is just how we dress, but also how we move, right? As you can see here, I got the giant flag and some random person brought a strobe light to the party. See, when you become visible, uh, people bring items and they contribute, okay? And now, oh, now, now the next step, next social risk we have here is the up and down exercise, a little fitness uh, game here. Everyone is synchronized and going up and down and here it is, bam, people start jumping, all right? Easiest way to create a lot of energy and joy in a space is to put on some music and have people jump in synchrony. So what have we learned during this video? Psychological safety, if we wanna create that in our environment, we have to be courageous and we have to visibly take social risks. If we're invisibly taking those social risks, no one's gonna notice and it's not gonna change the social norms in the environment. So visible social risk taking. That's what's gonna change your group dynamic and help people express their more human nature, whether that's sadness, whether that's joy, whether that's asking a difficult question, whether it's uh, admitting that they don't know or they don't feel comfortable, right? All of these things. When our participants engage in them, it means we've created psychological safety, we're creating an epic learning environment and potentially an epic party environment. See you next time in the laboratory. Recording stopped. Not bad.